the Los Angeles section of the American Society of Civil Engineers, more than 8,000 strong. From San Luis Obispo and the northern Owens Valley in the north, to San Bernardino and Riverside counties in the east, to Orange County in the south. Mindful of the past and with a vision for the future, we're the people who move California and the nation forward, and our best days are still to come. The California Aqueduct, state-of-the-art wastewater treatment facilities, the Port of Los Angeles, our highways, byways, and many bridges, from the Coliseum to Los Angeles International Airport to improvements in earthquake safety and the expansion of our rail system with both rail transit and the high-speed rail system that will eventually connect Los Angeles with San Francisco, civil engineers continue providing the vision to make it all happen. Nobody makes the connection between what civil engineers do and the things that we automatically use every day. In particular, the younger generation doesn't because it's always been there for them. But first, of course, somebody had to build it. For the city of Los Angeles, that somebody was William Mulholland, a founding member of the LA section and its president in 1916, an Irish immigrant who came up with the idea of sending water from the Owens Valley in the Eastern Sierra down into Los Angeles. Beginning in 1908 with little more than men, mules, and gravity, Mulholland started work on what would be the first of two aqueducts for Los Angeles. The floodgates were opened in 1913, making the city's expansion into the San Fernando Valley and the subsequent growth of the region possible. The valley, as it is now called, is home to 1.75 million people. Standing alone, the San Fernando Valley would be the fifth largest city in the nation, eclipsed only by New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, and Houston. Civil engineering made it happen. Turning on the faucet and having water come out, not getting flooded out, when it rains, all of these things are done by civil engineers. Water was again the issue when it came to bringing products into the city of Los Angeles and the West, as well as getting exports out to the rest of the world. Civil engineers would again pave the way as the Port of Los Angeles was founded in December of 1907. From humble beginnings, it grew into a giant, the busiest port in the nation, generating more than 900,000 jobs and over $39 billion in wages and tax revenues. And there's so much more. Roads, sewers, and other utilities that are unseen but mandatory. Or our bridges, ranging from the picturesque Arroyo Seco in Pasadena to the magnificent 1,500-foot-long Vincent Thomas in San Pedro. Los Angeles Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa. It's been the engineers. Uh, who have helped us uh, build our bridges, our highways, uh, our public transportation systems, and they've been key uh, to uh, the enormous expansion of rail and public transit here in Los Angeles. From a freeway system, supported by the political will of former Governor Pat Brown and built with the know-how and professionalism of civil engineers, to the U.S. Bank Tower, Reaching for the clouds at a height of 1,018 feet, it's the tallest building west of the Rockies. Built in 1923, the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum played host to the Olympics twice in 1932 and 1984. More recent construction includes Staples Center, home to the Los Angeles Lakers and Kings. From the Hollywood sign overlooking the entertainment capital of the world to the world's most recognizable city hall, Civil engineers built the city of Los Angeles. Consider our system of both general aviation and commercial airports, from Ontario in the east to John Wayne in Orange County to Los Angeles International. All continue to struggle under the weight of increasing demand. LAX alone carries 50 million passengers and 1.8 million tons of freight and mail each year, making it the fifth busiest airport in the world. And that's just one part of the much larger infrastructure that keeps Los Angeles and the West moving. All of it designed by men and women who might be considered the unsung heroes of American culture, our civil engineers. Society's problem solvers that examine major events like the Northridge earthquake, which left 57 dead and more than 8,700 injured, and the Santa Ana River overflowing its banks in 1938, and other natural disasters. Civil engineers then came in and they designed, along with the Army Corps of Engineers, a, a, a river system that protects now all of the floodplain in the Orange County and part of the Los Angeles County areas.
but the engineers can't do it alone. Airports are of little use if you miss your flight because of bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. Our civil engineers are designing the highway improvements and rail additions that will solve these problems. Our dams and levees are badly in need of repair. Our highways and bridges are crumbling. There is a need to expand our water and sewage treatment facilities, and the list goes on. A report card issued by the American Society of Civil Engineers for California in 2012 shows California's infrastructure needs help. The report card gives transportation, urban runoff, and flood control grades below a C, with an annual investment need of $65 billion. In my parents' day in the 50s and 60s, when we built the interstate highway system, the state water project, um, and before that, the Colorado River Aqueduct, along with the Hoover Dam, that infrastructure was invested virtually with no, no convincing of the public. Today, there seems to be a lack of commitment to making that investment by our political leaders. With rising demand as our population continues to grow, local and state officials are increasingly looking at rail, transit rail, commuter rail, and high-speed rail as part of the solution. Los Angeles is at the center of transportation, with Los Angeles Union Station as the hub. The first leg of a proposed high-speed rail system from Los Angeles to San Francisco has been approved, with funding coming from a combination of state-issued bonds and federal stimulus money. Los Angeles is essentially the hub for rail in Southern California, with the high-speed rail project coming into Southern California, the second busiest commuter and inner-city freight corridor in the country, and with the LA County Measure R efforts, they're building transportation and transit hubs uh, throughout Southern, throughout the Los Angeles County to connect all these modes of transportation together. It is, truly is becoming a statewide and regional system. With an eye to the future, and because the political will to provide adequate funding is critical, the Los Angeles section of the American Society of Civil Engineers is determined to take a leading role by increasing our legislative activities and outreach. We can do it now, or we can do it later. But eventually, the American infrastructure must be upgraded and repaired. The longer we wait, the longer the funding is declined, the more costly and time-consuming those repairs will be. With so much hanging in the balance, the need for civil engineers is, and will be, critically important. There is also an eye for sustainability, energy solutions that combine traditional power sources with more futuristic green energy like wind and solar. Sustainability is important for the future of our country. We need to start designing in systems that create a sustainable future that we don't keep zapping our natural resources for. The transportation networks that we're building in Southern California and throughout the state and throughout this country go towards that sustainable goal. Nothing less than the ability of our state and nation to compete in the world marketplace, nothing short of our local, state, and national quality of life is in our hands. Younger members of ASE are just as concerned about the future as any other group. Uh, we are a huge part of the ASE population and believe we are the future of civil engineering. As in the past, when the need arises and the political will is sufficient, civil engineers will step up to repair the old and create anew, turning dreams into reality to help Southern California and the nation move ahead in the belief that our best days are still to come. We are civil engineers, and we are members of the Los Angeles section of the American Society of Civil Engineers, and we are celebrating 100 years of service to our community.